Hey everyone, this is Veronica. Thank you for joining me on my daily fragrance of the day video. What I have today, <laughs> I'm already laughing. What I have today is one that recently appeared in a video. I think I titled it perfumes that I forgot I had perfumes. I forgot I had, you can go check that out. There were, um, the, the focus of that video were fragrances that I have in my collection, but I never think about. Uh, and kind of just ignore, like my eye doesn't pick them up when I'm looking across the fragrance collection to pick something out. And it is Samsara. And this is the Eau de Parfum concentration from the house of Guerlain, Samsara. Okay, <laughs> first of all, this is what's called the bee bottle, which the bee is uh, the emblem, if you will, of the Guerlain house. Uh, this used to come in a bottle, and I, I'm not going to be able to edit this video and stick the image in, so I'm just going to show you on my phone here, a bottle that looked like that. A nice, beautiful red bottle. This is a reformulation that lovers of the original Samsara have complained and complained and complained about, that it's just a gutted version of the original. So let's get into what this fragrance smells like. Actually, before I talk about what it smells like, let me uh, give you notes from my, my husband's impression of this. So I sprayed this on and went downstairs and said, hey, what do you think of this? I do that just about every day. I'd like to get his impressions and kind of weave them into my reviews here. And his reaction was <laughs> so strong. He said it smells like old lady farts. <laughs> Couldn't believe he used those words, but he did. And as he kept sniffing it, and I warned him, I said, don't stick your nose right in it. You're not going to like it. Kind of have to hover over it. Hover, hover. This is a one that you want to hover over. And uh, of course, he stuck his nose right in it <laughs> and smelled and just hated it. He says, I hate it. I hate it a lot. He says, I hate it so much. It makes me angry. Uh, and that made me laugh because I know exactly what he's talking about when you smell a fragrance and it's so awful to you that it like it pisses you off. So that's his reaction to it. That is not my reaction to it, but I thought I would share that with you all for the humor. If you wanted a little touch of humor this morning, there you go. Husband hates this. So I'm going to spray lightly because we work across the foyer from each other. We both work from home and I do have doors to my office. His is in what used to be the old dining room. We converted it into an office. I'm digressing. The point is that if I overspray this, the fragrance will waft across the foyer and give him just the most miserable work day. And I don't want that to happen. So Samsara by Guerlain. There's an eau de toilette concentration and this is the eau de parfum. Based on his reaction, maybe I should have gotten the EDT. I don't know. <laughs> but um, this is, um, it's very much an oriental fragrance that comes across rather exotic to me. However, on the opening, and I said this in the other video, the Forgotten Fragrances video, this smells, I just have to say it, it smells like urinal cake. What I mean by that is the little deodorizers that get put in the bottom of men's ur urinals, that really strong, pungent, um, a stringent cleaner smell is what you get at the very top of this and it's not an alcohol thing right it's not that it's you know cheaply made and there's a lot of alcohol dissipating it's not that at all it is a very just a strong concentrated smell so this is one <laughs> and that might be what happened to my husband that he put his nose in that part of, that part of the fragrance experience Ugh, I told him not to do that um, you really need to give this a good 15 minutes or so to chill the heck out, chill out <laughs> or yeah, it is just, it's too much. You're like, whoa, what happened here? This is abysmal. It's so funny. Someone uh, described this as vile on the reviews on, um, for grants, not, was it for Grantica or fragrance? Now I don't remember where I saw the reviews. Anyway, let me get to what I think it smells like. So yes, at the top, you get that really short strong thing. It also reminds me of like that cedar slash pine kind of smell that you get. If you have an RV or one of those kind of trailers that you take on vacation, the cleaners that you would put in that and the deodorizers that you would stick in there so that it didn't smell uh, foul when you opened it up for the season again, 
You know what I'm saying? And you open the door and it's that real strong deodorizer smell like woo, and it needs some time to air out. That's what the top of this smells like. However, however, if you can make it through that part of it and you like spicy oriental fragrances, you might be interested in this one. So this is not for everyone, let's be clear, not a safe blind buy. And I don't think people who are into exotic fragrances would like this at large. You have to be a special kind of person to enjoy this. Um, it has at the, the top, you get um, jasmine, you get a lang, lang To me, it's a very strong a lang, lang fragrance, which is a funny, a funny note. Some people read it as tropical or banana or whatever. To me, I get some spiciness from a lang, -lang. Any fragrance that has a lang, lang in it, I always get that same sort of like spicy sensation um, from smelling it. So that's my experience with that note, which is interesting. But at the, at the heart and in the base, this is a very heavy, spicy sandalwood fragrance is what it is. It's known for being one of the first fragrances that had sandalwood in it, especially for women. So it's groundbreaking in that sense. Here's the description from the Guerlain website. Samsara is an elixir of seduction for a woman who has found harmony and balance, which is notably conveyed through the composition's raw materials. The purest sandalwood and a jasmine used only for religious offerings until then. Uh, let's see here. Moving along, as Samsara takes flight, it enwraps us in jasmine flower, which dominates the scent. I disagree with that. I don't feel like it's jasmine forward. I think it's heavier on the alang alang for me. But anyway, you do get the jasmine in it and an indolic jasmine. And for those of you that don't know what that word is referring to and you're hearing it in videos, it's like a, a, a more earthy, um, maybe like a decomposing jasmine smell versus the fresh jasmine. Okay. Moving along, it enwraps us in jasmine flower, which dominates the scent, according to the website. But before, uh, before sunny alang alang flower embellishes it, the better to unite it with the radiant and generous warmth of sandalwood. Now, according to this, it also has iris, tonka bean, and vanilla that the website says harmonizes and renders sublime this blend with a remarkable trail. They call it a woody oriental. To me, it's a spicy oriental. And they refer to it as being harmonious, spellbinding, and embracing. <laughs> or maybe, according to my husband's reaction, repulsing, <laughs> disharmonious, uh, and utterly um, fatal. Fatal is how... <laughs> I might describe this according to him. It also goes on to say the perf it has a little perfumer's secret on the bottom of the web page that says Samsara is the first woody woman's fragrance in perfumery. It is constructed over a beautifully crafted sandalwood used for the first time in these quantities in perfumery. So that's the background of it. Um, so I have seen a number of people buy this newer bee bottle version and then declutter it as they found a vintage version online. I'm tempted to do the same. Um, I love to hunt down fragrances that are rare or odd or different on Mercari or eBay or whatever. I would just, if you want to do that, I would advise you to be careful when you shop on those kinds of sites. And what I mean by that is there are some fragrance houses that are frequently copied in imitated, cloned, <clears throat> and there are um, dubious companies out there that are pushing off knockoffs as the real thing. So Tom Ford, for example, Chanel, those are houses that are frequently um, uh, imitated. They're fakes is what I mean. There's a lot of fakes out there. So you got to be careful what you're looking for. Make sure you find a most reputable seller. Check out their background statistics. Make sure that they're not out of the country. If, the, if you're in the U.S., for example, um, some countries around the world are notorious <clears throat> for selling fakes of perfume. So just be careful with that sort of thing. But if you see a person that appears to be sincere, especially if they say they're selling it from their personal collection, they've got good reviews, you know, you may wish 
wish to take the chance and see what you get. So I'm going to check this out and see if I can find a, an older version because I'm so, so curious what the original smelled like. I don't remember this. I'm sure someone in my past wore this and at the time I wasn't really familiar with it enough to like register that that was the Samsara set. So after, after that initial 15 minutes of horror, <laughs> when this opens up, with that incredibly concentrated deodorizer fragrance that will knock you out. This turns into, I get a lot of sandalwood, I get a lot of alang alang, but it softens up so very much. And it also introduces what I call the plastic doll head smell. You know, you think like Lulu from Kasharal and those fragrances that have like that you know, the fresh doll. If you were an 80s kid, you know what I'm talking about, 70s, 80s, maybe even into the 90s. And we played with like Barbie dolls and other kinds of, the dolls with the big fat heads. You know what I'm talking about? Those big old chatty Cathy kind of dolls. What the the plastic on those, um, those dolls smelled like. It has some of that, not a whole lot, but enough that you recognize it if you remember that smell. But what you get mostly is a spicy uh, sandalwood with that alang alang and some hints of jasmine. I don't know that I get any of the iris, at least not pronounced. I don't get any of the tonka bean at all. I wish I did because I love the smell of tonka bean and perfumes. And I can't say that I get any vanilla either. So uh, that's samsara. By the way, the word samsara refers to the cycle of life and death to which we humans are the material world is attached we can't we can't unattach ourselves we can't divorce ourselves from the cycle of life and death it's part of our experience of being human so in that sense i like the name of the bottle too if you have this fragrance either the vintage or the new, I would love to hear your comments on it. What are your impressions? Did you have my husband's reaction? Did your significant other have that same kind of reaction to it? What do you think of this? And I find it really interesting that he reacted that way because my son, who's 12 and has a very young nose, who likes you know your lighter, fruitier, cozy fragrances, he likes those and he hates weird scents. He likes this one. In fact, when I first started the channel way back in December, that feels like years ago now, but it was only, what, four or five months ago, five months ago, um, we did a, a video called like Weird Odd Peculiar Fragrances. It's horrendously uh, taped, right? The video quality on that is just horrid. Go check that out. It's one of the first ones in my series if you want a good laugh at me filming back when. But anyway, this was in there and I was shocked that he liked this. But he also uh, smelled a toned down version, not the opening like I forced my husband to suffer through this morning. <laughs> so that is Samsara. All right. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care, my friends.